Oh, I want to welcome you to another Manifest Telecast. I'm telling you, I'm excited about what I'm about to share with you today. As we look back into the book of Ephesians and we discover a secret weapon that the Apostle Paul had that you need to know about because this weapon is one of the most powerful weapons that can be used in end time warfare. And so I want you to stay tuned to the Manifest Telecast for the next 22 and a half minutes, but also stay tuned as we make available to you a special offer and I'm going to be sharing with you some of the great places that we're coming to as we come in toward the fall months. I'm excited about this telecast. I'm excited about the fact that God has not left us without the proper military equipment, spiritual equipment from a military perspective that Paul wrote about in the book of Ephesians to help us overcome the powers of the enemy. So that's why we did this series because we wanted to help you who have written us over the past couple months and said, I'm in a battle, what should I do? Get ready because I have a word for you today on Manifest. Welcome to Manifest, hosted by international evangelist, teacher, and author Perry Stone. Enjoy unique insight into prophetic and practical truth. It's time to feast on fresh manna, so get ready to be blessed and encouraged. And now, here is your host and teacher, Perry Stone. Thank you so much for joining me for these past several programs on the Manifest Telecast. I really hope that you take the time to get the DVDs of the Armor of God uh, Warfare series that we did. The messages, by the way, that we're preaching on the telecast are totally different from what's on there. Some of you have asked about that, so we wanted to make that clear. Uh, the other thing is that this will be the last part of the series we're getting ready to deal with on this subject. And then starting next week on the Manifest telecast, we will be showing you excerpts of the Great Hickson Conference, which is our main event each year. So please keep that in mind for the next several weeks. Um, let me go over here to the soldier and let me take a moment and explain something to you. And I have my good friend from South Carolina here holding a, uh, a pillow. And I'll tell you about this in just a moment because this is what we would classify a spear. Um, when Paul talked about the armor of God, he talked about the helmet of salvation. And he talked about the breastplate of righteousness. And again, he's, he's looking at a Roman soldier when he's writing this in the book of Ephesians. He talks about your loins girt about with truth. And there was a leather loin belt that you can see here that really not only did it hold up, uh, hold the, the sword, which you see, which that's part of the armor too, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. But there was leather straps in front of the man and also uh, metal parts here. Someone would try to hit him with the sword. 